is Nobara still alive? That is a good question and one that has been at the forefront of many Jujutsu Kaisen fans' minds. Well, at least for anime only is in the last couple weeks, but for manga readers, a very, very painful last few years. But as we have now recapped through this segment now in the anime, it's worth bringing this up because there is at least some hope that she could still be alive. So let's get into it. But before we begin, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you more anime content. So I think we have to start with what happened to Nobara so we can discuss whether or not she's actually alive or not. And as we know from the last few episodes of Right or Wrong, multiple parts, um, basically she was in a fight with Mahito's duplicate. The duplicate ran away while the real Mahito was fighting Yuji, who also ran away. And in turn, the two did swap and Mahito managed to touch her with Idol Transfiguration. Now, the nature of this really is confusing because not everyone who's ever been touched by Idol Transfiguration has actually died. As a matter of fact, the few times that we've seen it have either been people who weren't sorcerers at all, people who trusted Mahito when they shouldn't have, or people who were nearly half dead anyways. So the number of people that we've actually seen that die from Mahito's direct contact that are in context of actually being characters in the series is actually surprisingly small. Because of that, there is a good chance of, like, you can't just say, well, Idol Transfiguration is insta-kill. Even Mahito admits Idol Transfiguration is not an insta-kill. So the real question then shifts to, how does she survive that? Well, the first answer comes in how Nanami survived it. We know that sorcerers can reinforce their bodies in order to essentially resist damage, and while this is subconscious, they can shield parts of their soul using cursed energy. Um, Yuji does this kind of automatically because he's hosted with Sukuna. Two people being together apparently automatically gives you knowledge that you have a soul and therefore can shield that. But honestly, given how Nobara's technique works, there is a strong possibility that she has at least a comprehension of how her soul is there anyway. We know because when Nanami told them about the technique and Yuji told them about the technique, she, always, she started to think that her technique would work really well against Mahito. So does that mean that maybe she started experimenting around? It's possible. Of course, you also have to take into mind that she was trying to avoid Mahito's duplicate for the longest time until she figured out it was in fact a duplicate. But I think that's also just a factor of safety. Why risk judging whether you can actually reinforce yourself or not when you can just avoid the blow in the first place. But there's another factor to consider here. Most of her damage seemed to only really affect the eye. We can't even really say it affected the brain or the face or anywhere, it just the eye. The reason that's significant is, if you're anime only, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but for far, far later, it is possible for a sorcerer to sacrifice a body part and in turn reinforce their whole body. A number of sorcerers have been able to do this, most notably uh, Hakari, who is a third year. Being able to, say, cut off one's arm can allow you to reinforce a body in an emergency scenario. So it is possible, even if only subconsciously, Nobara may have shifted to allow for her eye to be destroyed so she can preserve the rest of her body. The other factor that's important in that is that since that damage was limited to there, when Nita touched her, it is possible that he froze all of that damage. And don't get me wrong, while it is possible that she did die from that, it's also possible that she didn't stay dead long from it as well. There is a shelf life in real world humans for when we can be revived with things, and we know that Ieri was close on hand with reverse curse technique. Provided she didn't degrade any further from that point, it is absolutely possible that Ieri could have healed her with reverse curse technique. But that leaves the question of, if that's what happened, where is she, when can we expect to see her, and what has she been doing this whole time? And the answer to that could be really interesting. So, I hold the opinion that I think Nobara might very well be alive. Honestly, Gege is kind of a mean writer, so I give it a 50-50. But, if she is alive, I think that she's been on assignment with Toto this entire time. Because Toto has been notably absent from the manga for a while as well. And yes, there might very well have been a reason for that, but again, as we've discussed, losing limbs is not the biggest thing in this series. So, with that in mind, why then haven't we seen him? I mean, if nothing else, his motivational abilities should have been useful. I think that's because he might be on assignment with Nobara, and I think they could be getting something important. Now, I boil it down to three things they could be getting. My number one option is, I think they could be getting the Inverted Spear of Heaven. 
there's some evidence of this. We know the weapon may or may not have been destroyed by Gojo, but it is incredibly potent. It was enough to actually nearly kill Gojo, and it might very well work on Sukuna, making it a very valuable item. Number two could be that they could be retrieving Sukuna's actual body. I think this might come into play if you're basing it on the idea if Nobara's alive, that would seem to indicate that Megami will more than likely survive, you know, having Sukuna inside him. But if he does that, they're going to need a way to exercise him. I'm assuming they're not going to let, you know, Yuji die at this point because they're pretty much committed on the he's not going to die train. The easiest way to do that then would be to somehow forcibly pass Sukuna onto another vessel that they all have no issue killing at all. So perhaps that could be his original body. Perhaps that could be some kind of other placeholder, but it could be something like that. And the third option could be, it could just be an ancient artifact. There are artifacts, you know, obviously like the prison realm that people don't always have a good accounting for. They could have been sent to go get something like that, but we would only find about, find out about that when they return. There's also a good reason to think that if she is alive, Nobara will appear while Sukuna is still a threat because her technique is perfect to counteract him. It literally targets the soul. He's nothing but a disembodied soul inside of a host. So it makes sense. And with that in mind, what do you guys think? Do you think she's still alive? Do you think there's no way that that, tra that train has left the station? I really want to know in the comments. And in the meantime, I'll talk to you later.